Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, uh, it's great to be with all of you, and I'm very proud to be with uh, a wonderful young man who, with our help, is going to be the next governor of South Carolina. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've known Vincent Shaheen since he was uh, since he was born. Uh, I guess I've known most people since they were born. <laughs> but but I knew him because uh, my wife Charlotte's from Camden, South Carolina, and um, so when I was visiting Camden, I would attend a church there, the Catholic church there, where we were married, and. Um, in the Shaheen family of parishioners, so I would see the family at church, and I would see uh, Fred and, and Rose and their children uh, and watch them grow up. Uh, so I've uh, had the pleasure, we, uh, as we get older, take a special pleasure in watching young people that we knew when they were young mature and grow to be uh, exhibit very special qualities. And the qualities that, that Vincent exudes uh, stem from a, a family ethic, a wonderful family ethic that would be so beneficial to South Carolina if it became, became presented again as, a, as the overarching ethic of, of a governor of our state. And it's an ethic of, of service, the ethic of servants, of community service. Uh, that's what this remarkable family has been about, and it's, it's the values that we know we often get to celebrate in smaller communities where, where as they said in the uh, Cheers song, it's a, it's a place where everybody knows your name, and where everybody knows you. It's, it's not what you say, uh, it's what you do. It's who you are. Uh, Vincent's great-grandfather and his great-uncle ran the grocery store in Camden. And, uh, and they took care of the community. Uh, people who, who couldn't pay, uh, they'd get their groceries. They'd work it out in time. And, uh, and during the war, uh, they made sure that babies uh, uh, had milk. It was rationed, so they knew all the mothers in town and, and grandmothers who had children or grandchildren and uh, made sure they always had enough milk in the store for the babies. I learned that story because one of those babies is my wife. <laughs> uh, and, but, but that's what this family uh, has been about. Uh, Vincent's uh, grandfather uh, ran the gas station in, Clam in, in Camden, and he became its mayor. Uh, his uncles have served as chairman of the Kershaw County Council, speaker of the South Carolina House of Representatives, his father head of the Commission on Higher Education. I mention all of that again because those are those aren't, you know, jobs of fame, and they're not jobs of fortune. Those are those are jobs that stem from that wonderful, embedded family value of service, and and that's what Vincent Shaheen will bring to the governor's office in South Carolina, and. It's the old-fashioned values that our state so desperately needs. For the governor's office isn't about, isn't about the talk. It's not philosophical discourses. It's about not talking but doing, getting things done. It's about jobs. It's about education. It's about infrastructure. It's about getting the state of South Carolina moving again, and that's what this young man will do. He's very bright. Someone told me that he is the smartest lawyer they've ever seen in a courtroom. 
In his 10 years in the legislature, he quickly became a leader. And, and that happens in the legislature because the, the, those who have the intellect and who have the honest uh, disposition that their colleagues quickly get to know. So you gravitate to them to, to help you solve a problem, to figure out a, a, a legislative addressment of something complicated. And Vincent Shaheen became that in the General Assembly. He's a consensus builder. He works across the lines. I've had Republican legislators tell me in confidence uh, <laughs> <laughs> that they hope he's the one. This man, a member of the Democratic Party, is elected governor. Because what Vincent Shaheen will do and what they know will do, he's not driven by some philosophy and he's not a partisan operative. He is a team builder and a consensus builder. So he will do it the old-fashioned way, the Dick Riley way, the Bob McNair way, the John West way, the Fritz Hollings way, and the Carol Campbell way. He'll bring both parties together. There'll be meetings in the governor's mansion, there'll be meetings in the governor's office every day of the legislative session with people of different political parties sitting down, forgetting about your partisan orientation and how do we address the challenges of South Carolina. This young man has it. He's got the brains, he's got the service ethic, he's got the experience, and he has the leadership ability, and this state desperately needs that more than any time in our contemporary history. He is the one to lead our state. He will get us moving again. South Carolina again will be seen as that southern state that's on the go and, and finding new ways to solve problems. When people come and so that's how they're doing it in South Carolina, South Carolina way. That's the Vincent Shaheen way. That's the way of the ethic that he brought from his work in his community. You talk about economic development. A state senator in a medium-sized county in South Carolina is the chief economic development officer. No business development, no plant recruit, cap recruitment happens without the state senator right there. He knows how to do it. He can do it. He's what our state needs. Now, in conclusion, what we all have to do is between now and the primary, and after the primary, every time we're discussing matters of governance in our community, we need to say, look, our state needs Vincent Shaheen. Let me tell you about Vincent Shaheen. Let me tell you why he's the person for governor. We've got to start that momentum right now. And if we do, this young man will be elected and South Carolina will be on the move again. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you the man with our help and hard work will be our state's next governor, Vincent Shaheen. Yeah. Yeah.